Hey everybody, it's Amanda and it is Crocktober. All right, it's that time of year again. We're doing crock pot dishes and this year Crocktober is organized by Jenny's Scratch Made Kitchen and Kettle Kitchen and their links are gonna be down in my description box along with the list of all of the other channels that are gonna be doing videos for you every single day in October that are crock pot meals. So if you are looking for easy, quick meals for your family, make sure you check out that list. But even more than that, they are doing giveaways as we do every year with Crocktober. And uh, this year the giveaway is going to happen on November 2nd. It's gonna be a live giveaway. It's gonna start at 3.30 p.m. Pacific time. So make sure you check how that uh, calculates with wherever you are but uh, they're going to be doing i think three different giveaways and to be entered into the giveaway all you have to do is watch the crocktober videos and comment underneath them so you can start right here on this video comment underneath something and you'll be entered to get into the giveaway so um jenny's got all kinds of information on her channel again her link is going to be down in the description box along with the list of all the other channels that are participating today it's me and the inquisitive farm wife and tomorrow we are going to have, and let me double check because I want to make sure I'm telling you the right folks, CNC Farm and Mimi's Dishes. Again, all the channels that are participating are down below. And if you, this is the first video you're catching for Crocktober, go back and look at the ones from the 1st through the 9th. And then you can see all the videos, make all the comments, and really have a good chance of winning one of the giveaways. So that is what's going on with Crocktober. I am making pepper steak. Okay, so here's the deal. I got a couple things happening. Number one, I'm a working lady now, okay? For, for years and years, I homeschooled my kids, and I was home, and I we have been empty nesters now for about two years, and for one year, I have been working a lot. And so, having crock pot dishes and or other quick and easy meals that I can make with no trouble are very important to me now. More so even when I was staying at home and homeschooling and doing all of the things. So. I am looking for crock pot quick easy meals. However, I am also specifically trying to find meals that replace things that we eat when we eat out. Because the more I can make from home, the better it is for our budget, especially in this economy, y'all. Especially in this economy. So I have mastered, I, you know, I've been cooking for years, stay at home mom. I mean, I. You know, I can cook a little bit. I mean, I can cook a little bit. But one thing I have not mastered is Asian food, okay? That is like one of those things that if we're gonna eat out, we're probably eating out Asian because, you know, it's it's always been a challenge for me to make it. Well, Rick came down in the last couple of years, he developed a nut allergy. And one of the issues when we go to a lot of Asian restaurants, a lot of things come in contact with peanuts or other nuts. And so he's had some allergic reactions here and there. So we've actually kind of been nervous about going to Asian restaurants. So it's kind of pressed me to really get into trying to figure out how to make these things at home. So pepper steak, it's one of his favorites. And I'm trying to, I've am trying been trying to duplicate it. And I found a crock pot recipe and we are making it today, you guys. It's a good one. So super simple too. I have all the ingredients here. Let's take a look at them. Okay, I have everything laid out on my counter and I just wanna say, if you're looking for all the measurements and everything that you need, it's gonna be also down in the description, the entire recipe front to back. So make sure you check down there for all the important information. But obviously we need steak and I have the beef steak strips for stir fry and you can see I got it on sale. This is one pound uh, for $4.65. Again, this is just my husband and I. If you are making it for a family, you wanna have two pounds, two pounds. We're using one, so double the recipe, double it. But anyway, I'm gonna use one onion and I have pre-cut from my freezer some peppers. So this is gonna be my peppers and onions. And let me say a word about that. Normally for an Asian pepper steak recipe, you actually cut them chunky, but I pre-cut my pepper in strips. So we're gonna try to match the size because that way we have kind of the same consistency and frankly it tastes better. So just a note on that, see those strips? We're gonna use those and I'm gonna cut that onion into strips here in a minute. I'm also going to use bouillon and water. Now, if you have a really good dark, 
tasty homemade beef broth or even a store-bought one that you love, use that. I don't. So what I'm going to be using is three quarters cup of water and probably two to three teaspoons of bouillon. If you use bouillon cubes, the equivalent, make sure you kind of like break it down a little bit. You don't want it to be in the cube form. So, um, but anyway, I'm going to use this granules and it's, this is what's we're going to use because it's a little bit easier in the crock pot. Aside from that, we have some pre-minced garlic. You can chop your own garlic if you wish. Ground ginger, pepper. Back here I got salt and cornstarch. Worcestershire sauce, honey, and soy sauce. And you can see that we frequent Asian restaurants because my soy sauce is in packets and I'm gonna cut it open because I'm cheap, because I don't throw things away. And that's just how I do things. I'm about saving money. So, let's all get all this ready and get it in the crock pot. First things first, I gotta cut that onion. I'm doing this real time, you guys. Okay, my crock pot is set on high. It's only gonna take about three hours. This is so simple. First things first, I'm gonna take this meat. I'm gonna dump it in there. I need two hands for that. Give me just a second. Look at that beautiful steak. Okay, I'm gonna take this onion that I just chopped, toss it in there. It's so exciting, right? I am gonna actually break it up a little bit because my um, peppers, like I said, I want them to have kind of the same consistency. Ooh, getting dark over there. It's getting to be dinner time. All right, now we want to add about the same amount of peppers. And I'm just gonna pour them in there. There we go, that looks about right to me. Maybe a little more. Can you go wrong with peppers? Not when you're making pepper steak, I don't think so. Okay, now we are gonna take all of those other ingredients and we're gonna make the sauce. It's gonna go over top of this and we're done. Super easy. Let's make a sauce. I'm putting my soy sauce packets in here to make a quarter cup of soy sauce. If you aren't using packets, just measure it out. But again, this just tells you how cheap I am. That is just because I don't like to waste anything, which is what frugal means. Essentially means you are not wasteful. All right, it's looking like we're gonna need six soy sauce packets. So let's do these two at a time. You notice I'm cutting them right over top of the cup, so I'm making slightly less mess. Clearly I'm not fancy. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna take this measuring cup. We've got a quarter of a cup of water. We're gonna fill it all the way up to the one cup with water. So three quarters cup of water, one quarter cup soy sauce equals one cup total. All right, we're gonna pour that in our bowl. Keeping with our liquid measure, we're gonna do two teaspoons Worcestershire sauce. All right. Two tablespoons of honey. We're gonna be generous with that. Okay, we're gonna do three teaspoons of this better than bouillon, and y'all, that is some thick stuff right there. Maybe two. Maybe two. Use three if you're making a full two pounds. I'm just doing one pound, we'll just do two. We're gonna do one teaspoon ground ginger. You can use fresh ginger, like a little knob of fresh ginger if you want. I don't have any, that's why we're using the dry. Works perfectly fine and I actually, you can see, I have a whole lot of it, so real easy to use. We're gonna do a half a teaspoon of salt and pepper. The equivalent of three garlic cloves, so I'm gonna put in just three little teaspoons of garlic here. And our final ingredient is cornstarch, two tablespoons. All right, I'm just going to take my fork and stir this up very gently. It looks a little bit crazy right now, <laughs> but it's gonna be delicious, I promise. Okay, it's just the honey is really thick and that beef, uh, better than beef bouillon, or better than bouillon beef flavor, I, just so you know it was roast beef flavor but it's just very thick, so you gotta go kinda gently at first. But everything is just gonna stir up and be all kinds of flavorful, and it smells amazing too. So, and that cornstarch will thicken everything right up. Okay, now that I got the thickest things separated, there it is. Looking very exciting, very flavorful. We are just gonna pour this right over top. Just trying to make sure all of the thickness is separated here, yep. 
All right, let's do it. What? There it is. I'm gonna throw a little water, get the rest of that out. Just a touch, because we don't want to miss that flavor. We want that to get in there. There we go. All right, let's pour that in there too. There we go, much better. Okay, let's take our fork, give it a little stir. I'm telling you right now, you guys, this smells amazing. And this is so perfect for the fall and winter because the peppers and the beef, it's just very spicy, very yummy. It's, it's, it's just got that nice, hearty, warm winter flavor. So this is gonna go, like I said, in the crock pot for three to four hours and then it'll be ready. So let's put the lid on and let it cook. Okay, pepper steak is cooking. I know that was a little bit crazy, but <laughs> that's just, reality okay imperative to making a good asian dish at home rice all that's going to be served over rice i'm just doing steamed rice um if i had pre-cooked rice i could make fried rice but i don't today so we're just this is the easiest quickest way to do it and it still tastes really really good so jasmine rice number one jasmine rice number two rice cooker do yourself a favor if you do not own a rice cooker and buy one, okay? A little tiny one, I have, I have a tiny one. I used this tiny one when all the kids were at home. I had three big boys and my daughter. And this tiny one, I usually, if everybody was home, I'd just make a couple batches, put it in my big bowl that's up here. And, um, just have it all ready if we were all eating together as a family. So a little one works just fine even if you have a big family. I think this cost me like 10 bucks years ago at like Walmart or Dollar General. It's probably $20 now with inflation. But, um, but anyway, I'll put an Amazon link if you don't have one. Do yourself a favor, buy yourself one. You will have perfect rice every time and it will save you so much money if you are trying to learn how to make Asian food at home and it, you're not eating out. The cost of this, even with my, this is a $2 bag of jasmine rice. So this, the rice that we're going to cook for Rick and I is going to be pennies, just pennies. And even if you add it with the beef and all the other ingredients um, that are pretty much pantry staples, I mean, a, a lot, of, if you were buying the ingredients just for this recipe, it might feel expensive to you. But if you are keeping your regular pantry staples and you're just buying the main ingredients, I mean, come on, beef, peppers, onions. You're, you're not going to be spending a lot. So I, it's probably, I mean, at most under $10 for this whole meal for Rick and I. If we were going out to eat at our favorite Asian restaurant, it would cost us at least $10 a piece, plus a drink, plus a gas. <laughs> so um, this saves us at least half, at least half, and still really tasty. So we're going to wait about two and a half hours and a half hour before we will start our rice and voila we will have a beautiful Asian dish at home so I'll check in with you when it's all done okay everybody I came home I got rice already cooked and I threw it on a plate there it is and let me show you the pepper steak now, I want to tell you now look at this. I'm gonna tell you right now, this smells so amazing. I can't even tell you. It smells so good. I I wish I'd made a double batch of it just just for the sake of. It smells so good. I know we're gonna to want to eat it. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow too. But look at the plate. All right, it's kind of messy. Okay, there it is on the plate. Tell me that does not look amazing, right? Just, just like eating out Asian. Rick's gonna try it for you. Hold on one second. All right, here he is with our delicious pepper steak. Look at that. Aren't you excited? I, I was telling the people how we are trying to do Asian food at home and it has been a challenge, but mm -hmm. he's, gonna, he's gonna go for it. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. 
Does it feel authentic? I'll tell you something. Pop! Tell me. <laughs> oh, not hot spicy. <laughs> I'm hurting my tongue. So, so besides that. But, oh my. It's delicious. <laughs> no, it's really good. Yeah, does it taste like Asian food? Yes. Okay. It, it does, it has that flavor yeah. and it's really good. And what was hot was not the beef, it was actually the rice. Oh yeah, yeah. The rice I just pulled it holds that out. it in mm -hmm. and the steam hit me. Yeah. But no, the taste of it is, is delicious. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Sorry. <laughs> okay. All right, well, that is it. I'm gonna eat my pepper steak, but I just wanna remind you that, as he's eating, um, I just wanna remind you that this is for Croctober. So, Make sure you check out, first of all, the recipe is down below in the description box and all the other folks who are in the Croctober collaboration, they're down there. Check out Jenny's Scratch Made Kitchen to find out details about the giveaway and don't forget to comment so you get entered into the giveaway. Make sure you try this recipe, especially if you are looking to make some Asian food at home. Super easy, very inexpensive compared to what you would pay eating out and it's amazing. Look at that. It's so good. Okay. You guys have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye.